Hello there, this is Leftos from the NLC forums with another video tutorial. This time we're going to look at how to install mods without overwriting files, without need without the need to back up everything yourself and be able to switch between mods easily. So this has been a major point of discussion even at the forums there are people who don't back up before installing a mod and then go want to go back and can't there are people who don't know how to combine mods and install them both um, there's an easy solution to all of that there is um, there is a tool for quite some time now that enables you to be able to e easily install and install and choose between mods for any game. That's right, this is not a tutorial that is uh, restricted to NBA 2K12. We'll be seeing how it works with NBA 2K12, but it is not restric restricted to it. it uh, this tool works for any game. So, let me first go. This is the main page of the analysis forums. Let me show you how to find that tool. Here we have search and I'm going to search for enable total conversion okay here we go this is the thread you're looking for enable disable any mod total conversion go to the top you will see I have already posted about this I should have done this at a sticky when I became a moderator I forgot about it it's really useful information anyway there is a full tutorial, I had made a full tutorial on how to use this, but this is a video tutorial, so let's just do it. Okay, I'm going to download it. Okay, let's just save this. Okay, I'm going to run the installer. Accept yes yes okay so at this part it asks you where to install it you may be tempted to click on next but the important part is to just install it where the game is so I'm going to go to DNBA to the folder where I've installed NBA 2K12 okay click on next install okay and we're done so let me go and you will see that it has created uh, a desktop shortcut generic mod enable NBA 2K12 it has detected the name of the game I have installed it to so let's run it and you can see that I had previously installed all these modes for it some are available but disabled some are activated let me show you how you can do it yourself let's just say we've downloaded the mod and we want to make it so it is compatible with the generic mod enabler let me look for um, uh, the ultimate base roster I have it here somewhere um, here we go Okay so here's the ultimate base roster download it replaces many files in your NBA 2K12 folder besides adding some so you may want to use it like so to be able to disable it or go to another mode or use a total conversion or whatever let's check it out so here are the files that belong in the main NBA 2K12 folder those are the ones we're going to use with generic mod enablers the, the files in the saves folder shouldn't they overwrite any of your files so you're safe to just do what you need to do with those okay so let's go to all this let me select all of them click on this is extract the interfaces in Greek let me check if I can go get it to English so you understand what's going on this should do it okay so I'm going to click on extract I'm going to go to D games NBA 2K12 and the uh, generic mod enabler the uh, generic mod enabler has created a mods folder this is the one we want I'm going to click on it you shouldn't have any of these folders those are the mods I've installed this way 
Okay, so I'm going to go in the mods folder, create a new folder and call it Ultimate Base Roster version 22. Okay, I'm going to click on the K and I'm going to extract them. It's going to take a while. So while this while they're getting extracted, let me show you. I have many mods installed this way so because I want to be able to mix and match uh, or I want to test a mod that's experimental without uh, ruining my game and needing to look for backups I keep a folder of the, all the original NBA 2K12 files just in case but if you don't have enough, enough disk space to do that um, or if you use a uh, generic mod enabler from your first mod on you shouldn't need to have the originals backed up you should have the disk of course but if you like me are using steam that can be kind of hard because steam tends to not give you just the original files it will overwrite anything anyway um, so here are uh, the mods I've used. Some can be mixed and matched, but others just like the these are the final stadium that the uh, James had um, released that can uh, that are specific. There are conference final stadiums, final stadiums, play of stadiums. Of course, you can't have all of them installed at one time, but generic mod enabler enables uh, allows me to pick which one I want installed and uh, deactivate the other easily without needing to do any copy pasting myself I can also enable and disable a big total conversion mode like Euroleague uh, like Euro 2K12 um, uh, without needing to have a separate installation of NBA 2K12 so okay the extraction is done let me run the generic mode enabler okay so now we see that Ultimate base roster is uh, here, ready to be activated. These are the mods I currently have activated. So let's see what happens if we activate it. Okay, so this message warns me that some of the files I'm going to put uh, to uh, that are included with Ultimate base roster v22 have already been modded by a mod I've installed. This is actually a very useful feature because you can see what files conflict with mods you've already installed what are you going to override so okay it tells me that my Brooklyn Nets mod that I have downloaded has files that conflict with the ultimate base roster but I don't care ultimate base roster already have the Nets as Brooklyn Nets and the title page uh, that is uh, replaced by my super, uh, my super global is will be overwritten by ultimate base roster okay um, so I don't care I can enable those and I have to wait because right now it's keeping what it does is automatically keep backups of all my mods uh, of all the files the mod overrides it keeps backups of the originals it keeps backups of your mods uh, that are being replaced because they conflict so you can mix and match easily without having to do the backups yourself or uh, do the copy pasting yourself or worry about anything it does it all automatically for you so yeah uh, of course it takes a while to enable a mod as big as ultimate base roster I think it's about 3 gigabytes extracted right now <laughs> it's a huge piece of work In any case, it shouldn't take so long for other smaller modes, but it's it's to be expected. It's to be expected that Ultimate Base Roster would uh, take so long to be enabled. I'm guessing you wouldn't be enabling it and disabling it so much. But any in any case, if you want to, uh, if there if you download a mod for a specific team or a specific court, and you want to use it along the, with the Ultimate Base Roster, you can just enable Ultimate Base Roster first and then enable one of your other modes we'll see how to do that we'll see how to enable the ultimate base roster and also have Joe James final stadiums uh, in it because as of course ultimate base roster has the regular season stadiums uh, that get automatically uh, have some logos put on them 
by NB2K12. So I can see that my Brooklyn Nets and my Super Global Codename Moose version 2.7 are grayed out now because Ultimate Base Roster has um, replaced some of their files, so they may so they may not be working completely. Uh, that's really useful to know. And if I go to disable Brooklyn Nets, I won't be able to because Ultimate Base Roster version 22 has overwritten files. It must be removed first. Okay. I know that. So, if I start the game now, I'm going to have all these mods, this one and this one and this one, surely enabled, and whatever is left of these mods that didn't get replaced will also be there. Easy as pie. Um, uh, so, I don't know why that phase exists. Pies are hard to make. Anyway. So, if I want to, uh, I could show you the game and show you that everything went right, but I won't. I'm just going to show you that if I wanted the final stadiums, I just could have them. I'm going to select them, click on Enable Selected Mod, and it tells me that um, the uh, that particular that particular uh, court has already been altered by the Brooklyn Nets mod. So if I do this, I'm replacing the specific Brooklyn Nets stadium. Of course, I want to replace any stadiums I want all the final stadiums okay so that's pretty much it you can mix and match modes and I can of course if I want the Euroleague I'm going to disable any current team modes and of course the NBA ball all-star and just enable the Euroleague it's just as easy I'm going to show you if I want the Euroleague just to be safe, I want to disable everything. Yes. As you can see, disables the it disables them all in the right order. So right now, my game should be just like it was out of the store. There are no mods enabled whatsoever. So I'm going to enable Euroleague. The tool is as always keeping backups of files that Euroleague re replaces. Oh my god, I've misspelled Euroleague. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Mix and match modes easily without needing to keep backups. That's it for me. See you at the NLSC forums. Have fun.